about to do an awesome body painting at this waterfall called Skulga Falls, which I would brutalize. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit challenging because there's some wind. We got like the overspray from the waterfall, uh, but we are so pumped. They just drove all the way from Reykjavik. How? What, what time did you guys wake up? Uh, 1.30? <laughs> 1.30. You have had how many hours of sleep? One hour of sleep. I've four. got, I've got four. You've got how many? Four. Four. So we, collectively, we almost have a healthy sleep pattern. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, I'm going to be painting Patrick. Yay! Here it goes. Literally, we don't know how this is going to work out. Yeah. It is so cold that even my hands are like freezing up. So I'm going to sketch him in place and we're going to go like duck in a bathroom so that I can paint him and then uh, we'll come back out here real quick and I'll like finish up the painting and hopefully by then the sun will be out a bit more and we'll be like warmer. So. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, that last body painting was colder than when I painted on the glacier. Even though it's like 33 degrees, when that wind kicked up, it blew the waterfall onto us. That was really cold. Really cold. Just got to waterfall number two. Not even going to pretend like I can say this word. This one already feels better, like it's not as cold here. But the problem is the sun is behind the waterfall. So that's not what we want. We want the sun behind us, not behind the waterfall, or it makes the person look like they're in silhouette. But as of right now, it hasn't peaked over the top. So we still have okay light, but it's in the shade and it means it's colder. So we'll go see.